Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, yesterday, I mentioned that I hit 500 subscribers. And as a special thank you video, I want to do a deep dive into uh, my special, special box. This box is where I put all my um, Golden Age comics. I don't, I have actually more than this box, but these are kind of my special ones that I, I put aside that are kind of cool. Um, and I, I wanted to show you something that I don't see from many other channels. And I'm actually, when I say that, I want other channels to maybe do what I'm doing right now. I want other channels to show what's inside their long boxes. And I love that. I love seeing what's inside people's collections. Not the stuff that they necessarily show like all the time, but stuff that they, you know, secretly hide away. <laughs> and I always wonder what's inside their long boxes. So um, this is one of those collections where it's kind of stuff that I hide away. Um, it's actually usually stored in a special location in my room and it's my kind of my treasure, <laughs> I guess. Um, so this is the box. It's just one, um, like a, one of those banker boxes, but it is packed. <laughs> it is packed with comments. So um, I'm gonna show you what's inside. And it's some stuff that I got recently and some other stuff that I've had for a long time. And it starts with this one. This is Tom Mix number nine. Now, for anyone that's not familiar, this is from the Seduction of Innocence book. Uh, Seduction of Innocent. So that's one that's from the Seduction. So a lot of these are going to be from that Seduction of Innocence because, um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a collection that's been put together. So, um, and then there's Bugs Bunny. It's another one where they mentioned it in Seduction of Innocence. And then it's uh, Your United States. Crime Does Not Pay. These are all from The Seduction of Innocent. And Black Cat Mystery, number 36. Really cool cover. And then there's Black Cat Mystery, number 39. And then The Perfect Crime, number 11. And then Shock Suspense Stories. This is EC Horror. And this is also from the Selection of the Innocence, number four. And then Crime Suspense Stories, number 19, again from the Seduction of the Innocent. And then Weird Science, number 19. Exposed, number seven. These are all like Golden Age books that were all mentioned in the Seduction of the Innocent. And then we have um, Real Clue, number nine. This is like from 1948. These are all very old. And that's just the top. That was just the books that I had sitting on the top. Now, next is my Wonder Woman. Like it's sort of, these are like little collections inside the box. My Sensation Comics, Sensation Comics, number 78. I don't have many of these Sensation Comics, but Sensation Comics number 91. That's it. That's my whole collection of Sensation Comics. I only have two. Um, and then there's Captain Video. This is again from the Seduction of the Innocent. Innocent. Number two. And then another from the Seduction of the Innocent. Uh, this is Gangbusters number three. And then Howdy Doody number six. So that's kind of cool, cool one. And then my next collection that's inside the box, and actually there's one more, that part of it I didn't have, but I had it out but not inside the collection, is my complete series of Ghost Rider. So this is the second series, this is Silver Age. Um, I actually have the Golden Age one as well, but so this is the complete collection of Ghost Rider that's inside my box. So number one, number seven, it's going down, <laughs> six, 
five. Number four. Number three. These all have really awesome covers. Number two. Frank Fazetta did the original cover. So it's like uh, pretty awesome. This is so this is number one. Ghost Rider number one. And then the next collection that's inside the box. Actually, it's quite big, so I'm gonna have to do it in chunks. Next is my Wonder Woman. So these are all my Golden Age Wonder Woman. So we have Golden Age Wonder Woman number 15, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yep, number 15. Number 24. Number 39. Number 40. Number 42. This one's kind of beaten up, but number 42. This one's a great cover. This is number 43. This one's actually a famous one or infamous. This is um, number 49. And this was also mentioned in Seduction of Innocent. And it was for the fact that there was kind of like a lesbian element to it. So that was considered very scandalous. So this is back from the, I think this is from 1949. So and this is number 49. So yeah, it's kind of a major one. And this is number 55, the train. And this is for my beaten up copy of number 56. <laughs> it's a one, so it's pretty low grade. And there's this is a big box. There's like a lot of stuff in here. Uh, then we get some more Golden Age Wonder Woman. So number 62, number 73. Number 74, number 76, number 82, I'm zoom in there a bit for you, number 83, I like these Golden Age Wonder Woman's covers, they're pretty awesome, uh, number 84, Number 85, looks like this one has a bit of a glare. Number 85, number 87, number 92, number 93, number 94, Uh, number 96. Kind of cool. And that's my Wonder Woman. <laughs> then it comes into like various ones. Like I have a whole bunch of various comics. So, as I said, this is all kind of golden age mixture of stuff. Mixture of little collections. So this is More Fun Comics, uh, number 126. Nothing special about this issue, but uh, More Fun Comics, if you're a, a really serious collector, you should check out More Fun Comics because that's where Flash uh, got his, uh, not Flash, but um, Aquaman and um, Spectre and Dr. Fate and Aquaman, I already said, a Green Arrow is the other one, uh, and uh, Superboy all got their first appearances in more fun comics. So this is golden age goodness, more fun comics. But this one, not so special. <laughs> so, but it's just, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, then we have Super Duck. Super Duck, number, I'm not even sure what number this is. Number five. 
So Superduck number five. Superduck's kind of an interesting one. And then we have Wilbur number three. It's kind of a cool issue. And then we have Patches number one. This is just some <laughs> random golden age comic for kids. And this one's actually kind of a cool one. Uh, this is Smash uh, Comics number 42. I believe this has the first appearance of Lady Luck or one of those ones. I'm pretty sure. It's kind of a cool golden age uh, female superhero. Kind of not superhero, but, you know, female character. <laughs> uh, then we have Panic number one. That was made by the same company that produced Mad. And then we have another Panic, Panic number five. Actually, I really like the cover on this. I think it's interesting because she's kind of sexy and yet she has these really crazy feet. <laughs> Just something interesting about this cover. I always liked it. And then we have uh, Funny Animals, number 22. This is really beaten up, but it's uh, Aces High, number one. And this was... Um, one of the few be just before uh they went to the comic code of authority so kind of interesting co comic from um ec and then we have airboy airboy comics number i believe it's number 10. i think it's number 10. and then we have um most four most comics this is number four from volume four and then we have Airboy Comics number five. And then we have another Super Duck. And this is a um, kind of an interesting Super Duck. This one I did a video on before. This is, again, from the Seduction of the Innocent. And this is just a infamous, infamous uh, comic. Uh, it's nice. Actually, it's a fairly high grade, too. Uh, it's number 22, Super Duck. You got, this is one to look for. This is a hunt, one that is if anyone collects seduction of innocence books um this is the one pick up because it's 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 just so interesting <laughs> the story behind it so so definitely one to check out that's super duck number 22 and then we have nightmare this is just um uh from saint john was the name of the company that produced these and they just had really great covers these painted covers Another just classic horror comic uh, from the 40s um, or late, late, late 40s, early 50s, actually. I think it's from 1950, 51. So, yeah, so very cool comic. Um, and then I have some, then I have my mad, a little bit of my mad collection in here. <laughs> I just have a few mad. This is mad number 10. These are all golden age mad. Number 17. And I have two copies of number 17, but this one's really beaten up. <laughs> so I got a better copy. Um, then we get into a couple more ECs. These are Weird Fantasy, number 20. Sort of a nice kind of cool cover. And then we get into um, Vault of Horror, number 27. And this one I like because it shows all the, the people. You know, it has the, the Vault Keeper, the, the Old Witch, and then the Crypt Keeper. He's the most famous. I'm trying to get his first appearance. That's that one. And then we get into my Captain Marvel collection. So the rest is pretty much a lot of Captain Marvel. So... So it's amazing how much I can fit into that little box. <laughs> so this is like only halfway, believe it or not. This is, as I said, when I do deep dives, this means like going through a huge box of golden age kind of cool comics. So these ones are... I'm going to have to organize it a bit. Okay. So this is Captain Marvel number 29. This is the first appearance of the on the cover of Mr. Mind. So Mr. Mind first cover. Kind of cool. And then we have Captain Marvel number 35. Another 
kind of cool cover where he's like all shrunken down. It's kind of, I like these Captain Marvel ones. And this is Captain Marvel number 52. And this is the first appearance of Dr. Shavanna's uh, son. So Dr. Shavanna Jr. <laughs> That's a cool one. And this one is Captain Marvel number 74. And this is like the like just uh, one of those cool you have to look at it a certain angle in order to read it you're supposed to put it up against your nose to read it and it's kind of funny and then we have uh captain marvel number 79 this is the first appearance of tawny the talking tiger i have actually two copies of it that's my first copy that's my better one and then my beaten up copy where they wrote all over it and stuff. <laughs> so this is, I have two copies of number 79. And then uh, there's Captain Marvel uh, Adventures number 82. And this is the first appearance of Tawny the Talky Tiger on the cover. So this is his cover, first cover appearance. And this is like a low grade. And I have a, another one. I have this. I have it just twice because, it, yeah, I really like that character. <laughs> I think he's an interesting character. And then I have number 86. Okay. Oh, so many more to go. <laughs> this is a big box. Even though it looks little, it's got a lot in it. Uh, number 89. And then number 90, Captain Marvel Adventures number 90. These are all Golden Age books. Number 90 again. I have a couple duplicates of some of these because I just the way it was. Number 95. Number 99. Number 114. Number 125. Number 127. Number 130. Number 132. And number 135. So some of these I just got recently. Okay. Still more to go. <laughs> Two more handfuls, maybe. Uh, number 136. Number 146. It's a really nice cover. So really, actually, it looks really nice, this one. Number 146. 148. And then I have um, I have 150, which is the final issue, but it's 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 in slab. This is the slab that I have outside. And then I have my Wiz Comics collection. So it's like all in some kind of little semi order here. Uh, this is Wiz Comics number 21. This is kind of a a key issue. And then this is. Uh, one of those uh, impossible covers where you can see both him and his, uh, both versions on the same thing, which is impossible. Um, and so it's uh, number 22. It's another key issue. And this is a, a number 23. Okay. And So still <laughs> a lot more to go, but I can move this over now and show you. So we got Wiz Comics number 24, Wiz Comics number 25, Wiz Comics 147, a cover I really like. I wish it was a higher grade, but it's, yeah, it's... It is what it is. It's a nice cover though. Um, and 104. 
and Wiz Comics 105. Right. A bunch, these are modern ones that got mixed in by accident. So I got a bunch of creepies that got mixed in. <laughs> so nothing really special. <laughs> but uh, these are actually kind of, there's one of these that I really like. I, I really like this cover. I like any of these kind of uh, interesting, kind of sexy, um, dominatrix kind of style, a little bit Nazi style. <laughs> this is really interesting, creepy. So these were mixed in. I actually meant to put these somewhere else. These were meant to be put into a different box, <laughs> um, but they got mixed in with my golden age stuff. And then the final issues are just some, you know, various Captain Marvel ones. Um, Captain Marvel Jr. number 56, or 55, sorry, 55. And this one is actually, um, <laughs> there's a funny story behind this. This one uh, was kind of one of those ones was, at the time, a bit suggestive uh, that somehow, uh, yeah, let your mind do some imagination on this one because it, it was a bit of a suggestion uh, that something a little funny is going on with Captain Marvel Jr. <laughs> so that one had a bit of controversy about it. Um, this one is number 58. Oh, and this one got mixed in in the wrong order, but it's Captain Marvel number 80. So this one should have been with some of the other ones, just out of order. And then I have my Ginger number one. This is a really high grade, really nice. It just has the marker on it. So somebody put a marking on it, but other than that, really, really nice. Um, I think it's like a six or maybe a five, five, six range. So it's quite high for, for this comic. And in that grade, it's a very pricey comic. So Ginger number one. Very nice Archie comic. And All Top Comics number one. So this is kind of another kind of cool. This one isn't that expensive considering it is a number one. It was a few of the All Tops that came out later when it got into like the Jungle Girl kind of style. Uh, those ones can be pretty pricey. So this one's not that bad. You can get this one pretty affordably. And, but it is the first issue of the series. Uh, and then we have Animal Comics, number nine. And then we have Animal Comics, number 19. And then The Barker, number nine, or five, number five. And we have Barker, number nine. And that's it. That's the whole collection of Golden Age books from one box. So you can imagine I have roughly um, 30 boxes of comics and that was the smaller one. <laughs> so you can imagine all the stuff that's in this collection. Um, and that's that's what I kind of wanted to show you. This has been just sort of my thank you for 500 subs video. It's a little bit longer, uh, but it's giving you a taste of all the stuff that I'm going to show. Um, and I, my goal is to show you my whole collection. So uh, that will be, once I get to a thousand subscribers, I will do a big dive series of videos because it's, you know, it'd be like a six hour video or something crazy. Um, but I, if you're interested in this, tell me, uh, please leave me some feedback in the, the comments. Do you like this kind of video where you do these kind of, you know, digging through the comics and seeing what's inside somebody's collection? Or um, do you prefer top 10 lists or, you know, unboxing videos? What kind of videos do you want to see? Tell me. And I actually do try to make videos that people ask me about. So please uh, leave those comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to the channel. And thanks again for 500 subs. It, it is really greatly appreciated. Bye for now.